Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about leaves. The leaves of plants vary in size and shape. For example, pine trees are needle-shaped. The leaves of a birch tree are small and rounded. But they all have one thing in common. Leaves play an important role for the plant because they capture the sun's energy and carry out the food-making process of photosynthesis. If you look at a cross-section of a typical leaf, you will find some of the following. First, you will find a waxy waterproof coating that covers the leaf surface. This is called the cuticle. Underneath that, you will find surface cells. Next, you have the upper leaf cells, also called the palisades mesophyll. And what they do, they contain chloroplasts and they trap the energy in sunlight for the process of photosynthesis. Below those, you have the lower leaf cells called the spongy mesophyll. And there are many spaces between the lower leaf cells and they temporarily store carbon dioxide and oxygen. Underneath the leaf, you have stomata, and they are tiny pores that open for carbon dioxide to enter and oxygen can escape. And running through a leaf, you have the transportation systems of xylem, which carry water from the roots, and phloem, which carries the food made during photosynthesis to the rest of the plant. Photosynthesis is a process in which the chlorophyll, which is found in the leaf, exchanges carbon dioxide that enters the stomata. It's mixed with water that's absorbed from the roots, combined with the sun, and sugar and oxygen are then produced from the carbon dioxide and water. The oxygen passes out of the leaf through the open stomata and the sugar enters the phloem and then travels throughout the plant. So there we go, a leaf of a typical plant.